it's Mona here. It's Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. And today I'm going to experiment with some paints. Now if you saw my heart pendant video, you'll know what paints I'm using. It's like the Prism, the Pebio Prism and Pebio Moon paints. And they have really fun finishes. You know, they kind of turn out really cool. But what I'm going to do first is I'm using my Easy Cast. And I'm going to actually do two of them because I'm going to do a little experimenting. And I've prepared the resin and I'm going to pour it into two of my cups because I'm going to do two this week. And if you're looking for the mold, you're looking for the resin or anything that I'm using, always remember my website craftclutch.com. I have everything listed there. And I just need enough to cover the bottom of the mold. And I'm going to let this sit for 12 hours before I come back and start playing with the paints. The first layer of resin has dried on both of these and now what I want to do is I want to play around with my Pebio paints and just kind of try some different things out. I'm going to do one with just the prism paint and the other one I'm going to do the moon paint. You got to stir them really well because they will separate. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this one and I'm just going to drip it in various places in here. And I'll let it kind of spread out a little bit, see if it spreads on its own. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the mold around a little bit to get it to the edges because I have plenty of paint on there and I don't know if that I want to mess with it with a toothpick or a stick. Maybe I do. So I'm just going to let it kind of run to the edge and it kind of swirls them a little bit too which is kind of neat. And if there's some small edge areas like here that didn't fill in. I'm just going to use my toothpick to move it there. I'll let it dry and then we'll come back and put resin on top of it. So I'm going to clean my sticks and I'm going to move over to the moon paints. Some time has passed on this one and the prism paint is now starting to dry and now you're kind of getting that little pebbly effect to it, so that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to start working with the moon colors. All right, once you get it all mixed up, now I'm going to do the same kind of thing, and I'm going to just drip this on here. Now I'm not going to swirl it like I did the last one because I'll ruin that one if I do. Now I'm going to let both of these sit and dry. I might take a toothpick, go along the edge if I got some, you know, smeared up in there just so it won't attach to the coaster later. The paint has dried on these coasters and now I'm just going to throw some more resin on there. Just to give it that final finish coat. So we'll let that sit for 12 hours and then we will come back and mold it. The coasters have been sitting overnight and something did happen. Now this one seemed to turn out just fine. I'll just leave it in there because I'm not taking this one out yet. This one, for whatever reason, I must not have let it sit long enough to dry. And I don't know if you can tell, but right about here, it's some of the blue color paint kind of floated to the surface. So I think what I'm going to do is just put another thin, thin layer over here and that'll seal it all up. I'll let it sit for another 12 hours and then I'll come back. I'm back to unmold the coasters. Here is the one. This was the prism paint and you can kind of see like the little honeycomb-ish kind of look to it. And here is the other one that started floating and there's that one. 
So here are the two different coasters and the two different effects I got with it. So I hope you like it. It's kind of a, a neat little look to it and we will see you next time. Let me know which one you like better in the comments below. Happy crafting. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.